let's see how to decide what cutoff probability we should use in order to uh, get the greatest net benefit out of our uh, logistic regression model that we've formed to identify likely churners. Okay, we'll go into modify task, down to model options. We've got our show classification table checked. And I've got 0.5 in here because in the last example I used a 50% uh, cutoff probability. But there's one neat thing that you can do here. If you just leave that blank, so I have show classification table, but leave these probability values blank, then Enterprise Guide is going to give you a selection of just over 50 different cutoff probabilities. So it's going to go up in steps of 0.02. So we've got if we used a probability level of zero, we would identify everybody as churning. If we had a probability level of 0.02, we would identify almost everybody as churning, and so on. Okay, I want to grab that classification table and work with it in Excel. So I'm going to go to my uh, Word document output, since that's going to move into Excel best. Here's my classification table, so I'm going to highlight that, copy, control C, copy like that, uh, and then open up an Excel worksheet, and paste that table into Excel. Okay, so now we've got our classification table to work with. I want to create three new columns. My cost, my benefit, and my net benefit from this intervention. Okay, so for cost, uh, we're using a value of $20 for each, uh, uh, for each likely churner that we intervene with. So I'll put a minus 20 as my cost here, times this cell is everybody who we predict will churn that actually churns, and this cell is everybody that we predict will churn but actually doesn't churn. But we're going to spend $20 on each of them. In this case, for a probability level of zero, all 3,333 uh, of our customers. Let me show you the formula, just in case you need it. Equals formula text of that guy. Okay, uh, for our benefit, we only get the $100 benefit for the people who actually churn, that we identify as churning. So that's these guys here. And our net benefit is the sum of these, is the cost plus the benefit. And if we chose to intervene with everyone, that would give us a negative net benefit. We definitely don't want to do that. Okay, what probability level do we want to use? We can highlight those three, double click there, and that's going to fill all of our costs and benefits all the way down. This is where we would uh, believe that nobody was going to churn, so we would intervene with nobody and correctly intervene with nobody, and so we'd get zero net benefit. So we want something in between. Where is our net benefit greatest? So it's generally increasing here and then decreasing. Looks like our highest value is there at 23,660 at a probability level of 0.2. So this tells us the probability level that we should use in order to make our, uh, uh, make our inter intervention as valuable as possible for the company. We should intervene if we believe that somebody has a better than 20% chance of leaving. 
if we did that, we would intervene with 371 plus 301 with, uh, what is that, 672 people. Of those, 371 would have actually been planning to leave. And so our net benefit then of 23,660 is our estimate of how much our logistic regression uh, model has been able to improve the profits for our company.